Greetings and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Today's Friday the 19th of fall and so this means we can see what the gypsy woman has in store. Weather report says cloudy tomorrow and the fortune teller says eh, neutral. So we won't find much in terms of uh, the thing. And Marnie has something for us. Good morning Mr. Pasta. I came by to ask you a favor since you're such a kind neighbor. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat, cave carrots. So, since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you would bring me a cave carrot when you have the chance. There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9am and 5pm with a cave carrot. You make an old girl very happy. Bye! We have cave carrots. Awesome. And um, how can you train a goat that it will say hello? And do we actually want to know that? I think not. Anywho, um, yeah, we have cave carrots. So uh, we will swing by her house in a bit and make sure we have that. Although uh, in the last episode we tried to find her and she was nowhere to be found. And suddenly we found her in the afternoon running around out of her shop. Ah. Uh, a deserter. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, that was the third ap third apple I needed. Oh, we need to water this as well. Yoink. Yoink. Awesome. So right now I can harvest some maple syrup. And oh, stable. And we already have a horse. Name your horse. Grover? Ugh. What is... Uh, we will name it Havold. Also from the same game. Oh! Nice! Do we need to water the horse? I, I don't think so. There's no trough for actually uh, doing much. But this is a lot faster indeed. Yay! We have a horsey! Well, um, the horsey can't go between two narrow paths, but we can go through those things. Okay. Dear neighbor, when I'm not taking care of animals, I like to experiment in the kitchen. Since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. I hope you like this. Marnie. And new cooking recipe, pale broth. Okay. Pasta, I'd like to buy a pumpkin from you. My daughter and I want to carve a jack-o'-lantern for the upcoming Spiritsy Festival. Caroline. Accept the quest. Okay, Marnie's request, we want that and we want that. We have both in stock. So, no actually work needed. And some cranberry wine, which we will redo now. Okay, so we need one pumpkin and one cave carrot. There's the pumpkin. The cave carrot is in our fridge. There we go, cave carrot. This goes there. And the pale broth is... Here, pale broth. White algae. Oh, we find white algae all the time. And it does heal quite a bit, so that is good. So we might want to actually uh, keep the white algae we find in the mines and do something with that. Okay, so the cranberry wine goes in here, we will now head into town. <laughs> ah, this is cool. This is so much faster. Okay, first the gypsy woman. Okay, this is a little bit weird, but oh well. Boink. Hello, autumn spawn team. Nope, nope. We don't, don't need that. A magnet? No. Melon? No. Ah, oh, nothing we really need. Oh, well that sucks a little bit. Oh, okay. Right, so first stop is Marnie's. Oh, okay, we now have an event, apparently. Hello Marnie. Oh, you brought the cave carrot. Thank you so much, Mr. Pasta. Oh, well, there we go. 
Cave carrot. This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. What? I I don't think this this looks very yummy, but well, okay. Well, whatever floats your boat. Almost. Yeah. You're a weird lady. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. I really do appreciate it. Nah, no trouble at all. Wow. Um, and that couldn't be done with just uh, giving her that. Okay. Well, w whatever. <laughs> uh, just a little bit weird. Okay. Caroline was in this house, I think. Is that Caroline? No, that is Jody. Caroline was the one with the blue hair, I think. Or was it the green hair? No, I think it was the green hair. So, wasn't she Pierre's wife? I don't actually remember. Eh, no birthday and no quest today. Let's see if she's here. Bonk. Abigail's room. The church. And, yeah, I think this is Caroline. Yep, that is Caroline. Here you go, pumpkin. Oh, the pumpkin, it's a good one. Abigail will be so happy when she sees this. Thanks, pastor. You're very welcome, and I get gold. Me, I love some gold. Ah, uh, come on, Abigail, out of the way. I need to go places. For example, the mines, which we now have better access because we have a bigger backpack. And with the horsey, we are faster. Way faster. Yeah, we need uh, resources. And this is my phone, but when somebody calls me at this time of the day, it means usually that it is just, I don't know, weird people trying to do marketing f stuff. Let's just say weird people. Yeah, there we go. They only let it uh, ring like three times and nah. Okay, let's go down, go deeper. Bonk. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's remember to keep the white algae, if we find some. Oh, cool, nice. Okay, there is nothing here, but I do already need to eat something. I'm not good at fighting anymore. Yeah, and when we are through the mushrooms, we will uh, try to find something better. Okay, that's uh, enough. Do we have something useful here? Nope, nothing useful. Let's go down. Okay, there we go. And still, um, when I press the forward button or any other directional button, it will sometimes not go there. Oof, that was a close call. Yeah, I know, I know. I think we do need uh, better food for this particular part of the mine. Uh, we are nearly dead and, and um, we don't want that. We don't want to be dead. Okay. Also, there are a lot of monsters here. I don't think it is because of our sword. Our sword is quite good. I think this is mostly because the food we have is not really fit to be in a in an environment like this. Okay, there we go. Hey! Come on. <coughs> Aha! Ah, 
Aha. There we go. Oh. Fire crystal. Okay. And one piece of copper ore. Okay. Weird, but I'll take it. Okay. Do we need the fire crystal? Normally I'd say no, because we already have the bundle. Yeah, let's go down so we find something cooler. Oh no, infested area. Okay, let's go through this so we can leave this particular part. Oh, coal, nice. So, the red ones do have coal every now and then. I like this. Okay, um, <laughs> let's eat more mushrooms. Holy crud, this is a little bit um, weird and uh, dangerous. Yeah, the slimes are really stronger than they look. The sword, well, it does a good amount of damage, but uh, still not enough for this particular level. So, hopefully, we are able to obtain a new one soon ish. And it doesn't have a good reach. So, yeah. And if I want to go a little bit, then the, the slime will jump, then, yeah, it's a little bit meh. Oh, I already defeated all of them. Cool. Right, so level 98. Still very early, so no problem at all. Hello, you cave spirit. There we go. Go away, you. More gold. There's a chest. Chests are good. More gold. Cave carrot. Yeah, we can uh, do some root platter with that. Okay, nothing here. Ah, okay, let's take that fire quartz or fire crystal. Whatever, whatever you might call it. Boink. Uh, only normal quartz toppers. Yoink. And the path down. And come here, quartz. Downstairs. Oh, yeah. This is pretty much the part where we uh, fainted last time because it was too late. Uh, which is pretty much a circular way with a lot of chests in the middle, which is why I want to go into the middle and oh right it was <laughs> Another problem was last time that we had an infestation of bats which uh, slowed us down quite a bit And now it's just a dark Level which doesn't really bother us because of the light ring And on a contrary to last time, there aren't many enemies. I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. Okay, there's one of those weird things. I have no idea how they are called. Bonk. I would like some more geodes, though. Okay, you. Die. Oh, coal! Gold. Mm -hmm. And path downstairs. Very good. I think on level 100 we get a new sword. A magma blade or something. Okay, you have to die. You died. Very good. And now chests. More chests. And more. A ruby. An emerald. Oh, yeah. Yes. And now an infestation, so let's get the hell out of here. I don't want to fight all that, those bats, so level 100. There we go. And we get a star drop. Well, okay. More energy. I thought we would get a sword. I feel betrayed. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of bacon. Mmm, bacon. Your maximum energy level has increased. 
Okay, so we still have some time, so let me see if we can find some more co uh, coal and copper and other stuff, apparently. And of course, we can get some bug meat. Okay, nothing in here. More bug meat. More bug meat. Copper. And a geode. No, nothing here, nothing here. Bark meat! Dwarven scroll 1, we already have that. I think it gives 100 gold or something to sell the dwarven scroll. Okay. Oh no, you can gift it to the dwarf. So we will keep it as a gift to the dwarf, I think? Yeah, sure, why not? Bonk. Okay, nothing in that direction. Bug meat. No bug meat. Bug meat. A crab. Ah, sure, why not? Bug meat. Bug meat. <laughs> More bug meat. More bug meat. That darn slime. And a little bit more bug meat, and then we have all the enemies here. And now we just have to find a path. There we go. Bug meat. Infestation. Ugh. So now there will a lot will be a lot of those damn insects. Ah, okay, we can deal with them. Topaz, very good. Bug meat. Bug meat. This is an amethyst. Bug meat. More bug meat. <laughs> bug meat. Slime, slime, bug meat. So much stuff. Yay! More copper. We do need quite. Oh, and after this particular level, I will leave the mine. Okay, nothing interesting here. Yeah, let's leave the mine and... Oh, we don't have space, but this is a rare seed, an ancient seed. And this means I can craft ancient seeds. Oh yeah. We can't leave that behind. It's very rare and it's good. Okay. Let's leave the mine. What the? Oh! An event with liners. Ah, cool. Never knew that would happen. Hello, pastor. Come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. Okay. Nice and warm and stuff. I was hoping you'd come by sometime. Okay, this is creepy. <laughs> I wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. But you didn't learn to bath. You stink, Linus. You stink. But you've been uncommonly li nice to me. You're a unique person. And I consider you a good friend. Well, I thank you, Linus. Thank you very much. Hey, I want to show you something. Come inside. Well, the creepiness continues. Come inside my tent in the dark. Yes, the, the noises don't make it better at all. Ah, there we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. Well, not making it any better. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the top quality stuff. I need it myself. Uh, here, I want you to have the recipe. <clears throat> Learned how to craft wild bait. <clears throat> Whoop, yeah, um, let's pretend that never happened. Yeah, I know, we want to sleep. This is why I'm going to the farm at full speed now. And I think after a day the horse returns to its stable, so no problem at all there. Okay. Oh, darn it. Okay, let's move all this stuff here now. Uh, no, we want that. To sell it, uh, we don't need that. We want that. This is for selling. Okay. 
Wild honey. Honey. Still wild honey? Okay. Pickled pumpkin. Let's redo this. Okay, pickled pumpkin. Let's put this in the chest very quickly and then uh, hopefully we don't pass out. Okay, what do we want to sell? This, 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 and we want to keep that. This can be sold, this can be sold, this can be sold. This can be sold, these can be sold. The rest stays. I don't want to sort it now so we don't fall into a coma. Let's go to bed. Right, let's see what we made. Level 7 combat, and we have now a Ring of Yoba crafting recipe, and plus 5 HP, cool. And we made quite a nice amount of money, oh yeah, nearly 7,000. The pickled pumpkin, as you can see, gives a lot of gold. Oh, the wine isn't bad with 390 gold per piece. And the honey, hmm, yeah, could be better, but, uh, oh well, whatever. In any case, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and comment. And I certainly hope to see you next time as well. Until then, yours faithfully, the Pastafarian.